Good day everybody, uh, welcome back to my drawing YouTube channel. I'm Deggy Doodle. I'm Deggy Doodles, tongue twister there. And uh, today we're gonna try and teach ourselves how to draw Sonic, which is what this channel's all about, is trying to draw, teach ourselves to draw. So um it's almost Christmas. We're just about getting into December, end of November. And I thought I'd try and draw Sonic because there's a new Sonic movie coming out. There's a uh, Christmas coming around the corner. And I thought we'd just have a doodle and have a play. See if we can play with Sonic. See if I can fix this camera a bit. There we go. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit, it's a little bit off center for you guys, but try and do our best okay okay so uh, I want to I'm not really sure how to talk you through this but we're gonna we're going to start with a circle by gosh it as everything starts with a circle well, just try and keep you sketching loose you know so we're just gonna do a couple of this and I hope you can see this circle right now we're going to try and right what a lot of people would do with the circle is they'll draw a circle and draw a cross in it but you got to imagine it 3d you know so you got to imagine you're wrapping this around same again wrapping it around like this sort of thing um, but I don't want his centre line there. I want it, I want his centre line more over here. So you know, don't be afraid to rub out the little tips I'm just picking up on, teaching myself. You know, so I want this centre line to be a little bit more over this way. Curve it. So I'm going to try and draw old school Sonic the way I know him from the uh, Sega Genesis. Not. The 20th century's fox way, where he looks like Nicolas Cage. It's such a terrible idea. You know, I don't know why they decided to do him like that. It's like, I know what he needs. He needs to look like Nicolas Cage. No, the, no, he really does not. He doesn't need to look like Nicolas Cage. So um, I hope you can hear me in the microphone. Um, over there. I don't really speak on my videos much, do I really? I normally, uh, I'm normally pretty quiet. Okay. Sonic's always been tricky to draw. You know, Sonic's always been one of those characters because of his uh, weird dimensions. Got a lot of nostalgic. I don't draw him so often. Um, I drew him quite a little bit when I was younger. Not like every day, but every other, maybe every other month, I'd, I'd have a doodle with him, and I have a very nostalgic memory of doodling with my stepson at the time, uh, Lorenzo. He was, uh, he's grown up to be quite a quite a good artist, even better than. Better than me, I would say, but he, he'd disagree with me. He'd be like, Oh, dude, no, your drawings are well good. I'm like, Nah, <laughs> nah, they are not. But I wish I knew some of the stuff I knew now. I taught him back then. But so, in this drawing, I'm going to try to do Sonic <coughs> Saves Christmas. I'm going to try and go down this route of Sonic Saving Christmas. So I'll just triangle through the ears. And his head, this little eyebrow thing here, I always try and imagine it like the uh, the McDonald's logo. Now the tricky bit is his eyes. His eyes are the really, really tricky bit. Like his actual pupils and his iris and stuff like that. that that's the tricky bit with Sonic. Because he can either look boggle-eyed, you know, or he just looks 
you know, it just looks wrong. So the, the best way to get around this is just sketching a few ideas of what where do you think the eye will go. And I think that looks, I think that looks a little bit better. And put the highlight in about there. Uh, like, yeah, does that work? Is that working? Do you think? Right, yeah, so it's more to do with where you put the eyes for Sonic. So once we get that right, the rest of the drawing should just come together. Come on, come on, let's get together. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it there, let's see. See how this goes. Just place things till you till you think they're right, so they look till they look right to you, basically. Like I said, I've got a lot of nostalgia with the Sonic character. And this might not even be our final sketch of him yet. We know we might end up doing a little bit more with him. things a little bit better and uh, a little bit of a tip I've picked up for myself don't know if this applies to you or not but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you anyway um, don't be scared to move things move things around and this doesn't have to be your final piece like when you drawing out now it doesn't have to be the be all and end all of your work, you know, it doesn't have to be right the first time round. Try and draw through your objects as well. Right. So like say what I mean by draw through the object, say I want to draw is, say you want to draw a shoulder, a shoulder over here. Right, what a lot of people will do is just trace around this bit here and then try and pour it in. But you can just, draw through the object because remember you're probably going to ink this and a lot of your mistakes can be taken away in this sketching phase you know, so if you don't like his eye or you don't like his hands or you, know, you don't like something else you can be you can be taken away you know, so let's do Circle. Let's do a half circle. Of course, everything is a circle. So, what I'm going to do here is going to show you what I mean by drawing through an object. So, his hand is going to be hidden here. So, what I might want to do is I might want to draw the entire hand of how I think I want it like this. And you see how I'm drawing through his face there. Might want to curve down here for his thumb. And then like curve it in. And I'm not scared to draw through the object. You know, because I could probably erase some of this in the inking stage. Um, how many fingers does Sonic has? Does he does he have like, do you have like cartoony hands? Do you have like three or four? Or does he have like human anatomy with five? Does that look right? Should we add, let's just add one more. So yeah, and plus you've got one of these putty rubbers. These kneadable erasers, you call them in the US. I call it a putty rubber because that's you know what I grew up calling it. 
Let's make this a bit lower. Close that gap a bit. One of these kneadable erasers, it's really easy to get into into places that you that will otherwise be tricksy. Tricksy hobbits. Here, this looks a little bit off to me. It looks a bit off. It looks off to me, man. It looks off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Feels a little bit weird to me drawing like this now because I've normally got like an an audio book or you know music in the background you know so it's feeling a little bit weird to me now drawing without anything in the background i'll listen to uh joe rogan podcast or something like that Love listening to Joe Rogan. Some of his podcasts are so weird. The Joe Rogan experience. Nothing worse than trying to draw with a blunt pencil. Absolutely nothing. Apart from seagulls. Seagulls are pretty bad. <coughs> so. Yeah, seagulls are pretty bad. What I want to do with this drawing in a minute is after I do his hand in, I want him to be like running with Santa's sack or something. Maybe we put Santa Claus in the background. Something like that. I was trying to foreshorten. This is a new trick I'm trying to learn. This foreshortening business is really, really tricky. I'm really glad I started this channel. You know, it, it's uh Gives me a lot of focus. You know, I, I love uh, being able to do this and potentially teach or inspire because people will look at my trashy drawings and be like, well, he's no good and he can draw, he's drawing, so. Maybe I can do the same. Which is what the channel's all about, is to encourage you to pick up pay, pen, pen, paper, pencil. And, uh, you know, have a go for yourself. That's the whole point of the Deggy Doodle Show. thought I'd talk in this video as well because rather than do just another speed paint or you know another speed drawing where you, you're not gonna see it in real time I suppose right, 
how do I draw this now? Um, see, and you can hear me making the decisions like this, like, how do I draw this now? You know, so it just goes to show you, I don't know what, what the, what the, what I'm talking about. Not a clue. Not foggiest. Not even slightly. I'm doing a Joe Satriani on you all. If you don't know what I mean by that, is uh, Joe Satriani, from what I believe, was teaching himself to play the guitar. And along came Steve Vai, and Steve Vai was so good that, you know, he used to charge people. We used to charge people tutorials to, to, to tuition fee and uh, when he was still learning himself you know, Steve I came along and rapidly learned off him and he was like wow I better get better fast <laughs> so you know so we did and now he's world famous and Don't worry about this leg down here right now. We're gonna sort this out in a minute. Just to just get a general idea of what we want. General consensus of what needs to go where. We're still sketching right now. We're still we're still playing with the drawing. Still trying to manipulate the lines to how we want them. And if you are, if you have been watching my videos, you really shouldn't worry about this sketching phase because the other day I showed you a handy little tool called a light box. I'm going to show you another handy little tool when I get some. I've not got some yet. Called carbon paper. This carbon paper is really, really cool as well. But I've not got any yet. I've not got any carbon paper. It's like, again, you can see me drawing through my drawing because I want these lines to marry up rather than go oh I think it'll be about here and just pretend just just go through it marry it up and then the bit that you don't want just erase it like magic like that like a magician this thing's gonna this thing's gonna be your best friend this this little Needable and it's so so nice to play with as well when you're drawing. Right, okay. One, two. Give him five, didn't we? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. We did we give him five. So we'll do the same again. We'll give give him a fun. Do they know it's Christmas time at all? Not no wonder Sonic they don't. One, two, three, four, and one more. One more digit to knock on the door. There we go. Give it a bit more round thump, blunt pencil again. <laughs> right this is going to be the tricky foot because this foot now is going to come out here somewhere and uh, I'm just going to try and lightly sketch it in see where I want it because This is the one that can go really wrong. Do, do, 
Mumbling to myself again, aren't I? Yeah. Yes, you are, Degman. Does that look right? Hmm. Might be too far this way. I don't know, actually. Let's just draw it in. Let's 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 just see how it looks. We've we'll have to be done it. Let's just see how we gain on. He has like a buckle here, don't he, or something? Or is this the Mandela effect again, where I think he's got something there and he hasn't? You know, I'm thinking that he's got like a golden buckle or something there. I don't know. Let's just put it in anyway. Let's put it in. Looking. Right. I don't like this ear. I don't like. Don't like where it is. I don't like this ear over here. <laughs> Play on words. Right. Point in this bit over there. So you want us have a look. Can I see that? I don't know if you can see that on camera, but what I've basically done is flipped my work and it looks good, it looks okay. Uh, so what that'll do, it's easier to do it when you're on a digital platform, I think. But it does work for traditional as well. Uh, especially if you've got some kind of light behind you. Is you flip your work and anything that looks off is really going to show it because when you're drawing like this and your eye will get used to drawing what you're seeing here but you flip your work it's almost like a new perspective on it so Liking how this is going. Another thing I'm learning, which I still need some more practice at, is the other art style. The difference between speed and rushing. So patience. Got to learn a little bit more patience. I'm not talking about the Guns N' Roses song. Right. So what I could do in his hand here now is do like a not your nice list. We'll just do this at scribbles like this. Won't 
more nice people than we want naughty people, don't we? Because, you know. So some more nice people over here. And then also, we can do in his hand here. So when doing pleats on something, whether it be a skirt, a bag, or, or anything, you want to pick a, uh, even on a cape, you want to pick like a centre spot down here, and you have all the lines coming from here, is what I've learned so far. Shady bit in there. So that's my magical bag. So it's going to save Christmas. Helping Santa with his deliveries because something's behind because of Jack's skeleton. Jack Skeletons got in the way of Christmas, so Sonic's helping him pick up the pace. Sonic is. Put a ribbon on this over here. Put the label on it for saying. Suggestion of toys. Toys. Suggestion. I like that word. Let's suggest. Indication. That's a nice word. An indication of the word toys. Do a little shine on his nose, on his schnoz there. That's it. I think his smile needs to be a bit more exaggerated. I think his smile needs to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more like Goku's smile. I remember playing the game of uh, Sonic years and years ago, and then you had Sonic Adventures too. Do, you, do anyone remember that? What a game! Another good thing about this uh, kneadable eraser is I can dab it. If I just I just want to dab an area out like that, I can just tap 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 rather than rub. Dab, 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 dab it all out. Right, uh, let's see here. I'll just mute the mic for a minute.
all right don't know what that banging was but it seems to have stopped but um right okay you can see i wasn't happy with the ear so i had another play about with that um what else should we put in this drawer in loop the loop thing but just like put an indication of it indication I can't stop saying that now indication of it the loop the loop thing do you remember that loop the loop in in this video game it suggests that that's back here this, uh, loop the loop road a little TV on the top of it The old retro TV, the big nine incher, like that. Maybe do a uh, Noisy out there today. Definitely not the day to doing any recording. Crikey. Suggest that he's got his reindeer up in there. Nothing fancy, just a suggestion that Santa's also trying to deliver the other half of the presents around Sonic Town. Around the, uh, what was that first Emerald Zone or whatever it was called? Do you remember it? What was it called? I remember the twilight bit, the twilight zone. We do it snowing, do some snowflakes. Christmas without snow, can it? Pretty happy with that. I'm happy how that turned out a little bit. A little bit more chunkier than I thought he'd be. Been eating Santa's cookies, that's what he's been doing. <laughs> Should do biscuits and cookies and you know, carrots flying from his sack. Doesn't really want to help Santa, he just wants to eat all the food, that's all he wants to do. Right. Okay, maybe we should do some footprints and some like, you know, footprints in the snow where he's been like, going at it. Like that. We'll give it some colour, what do you think? Yeah, should we do that? Let's give it some colour. Alright, just going to pause the video, go and get my pencils, my colour pens. And we're back real soon. Okay, I know I said I was gonna colour it, but like Arnold, I lied. I'm not going to colour it, not just yet. 
First, I'm gonna line it. I'm going to grab my 0.5 micron pen. And I've got to go out of the outlines. So yeah, I'm gonna go over the outlines. Away with you. Get away. Make sure it's the 0 0.5 and not the 0, 0 0.5. So where should I start? At the beginning, as all good stories do. I'm just gonna start here. Now remember these are your guidelines. You can make these bigger, smaller, you can even correct some. Now I think looking back on this drawing, maybe I could have made his head bigger, maybe. But I don't know. But I'm happy with it, which is why I'm lining it. Never wasn't happy with it. That's when I'd have to look deep within my soul and uh, that looks really nice that I look deep within my soul and come up with a, a solution of maybe redrawing, redrawing it a little bit bigger. It's probably why I had so many problems with the ear. Hope your microphone is still working. And if there's any characters you want me to have a go at drawing, just comment down below and I'll uh, give them a go. Especially since it's the season to be jolly. So if you want to see characters with other characters trading gifts and such. I don't know, you might want to do Goku trading gifts with Naruto. Or even better, Goku trading gifts with Superman, because all you ever hear is Goku versus Superman. How about Goku has Christmas with Superman? And put the petty argument aside. They unite for one day of joy. Just like in World War One, when the soldiers had Christmas together. So I'm going to make this hand a little bit smaller here, a little bit bulgier there. So. So tips when I'm inking, um, just try to keep your line smooth, commit to your line what you see, and uh, just try and do it with a bit of confidence, like so this line here, like you, you know you want this line, so just go over it, and, you know, just commit to your line. If that's the line you know you want, commit to it. Pivot your wrist as well. Like, you know, don't try and pivot your wrist around. You know, remember you're not you're not drawing like this. You're not a robot. Let's try and get that pivot going. So that's the naughty list, wasn't it? And this was the nice list. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Do, 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 do. And just have fun. The main thing is having fun. Having fun with the drawing is, is what it's all about. You know, and even though this is just a simple child character, I still had fun. And I'm observing my own drawing as well. Which is another reason I'm happy I started this channel. Because I get to watch my own videos. And sometimes you can't see the woods for the trees kind of thing. You know, you, you're so into your drawing. You 
can't really tell where you're making mistakes until you watch it back. It's a really cartoony looking a bit. <laughs> Super dupy cartoony. You know, we and uh, drawing doesn't have to be expensive. You know, I'm using these lining pens, which are expensive. A little bit more, a little bit extra, but you know, that's a treat. Treat myself to them. But it doesn't have to be. You can literally draw with anything. And it helps to have better quality stuff. But it's not going to make you better. You know, there's still fundamentals that you need to do. There's still a, a very lot of studying that we have to do. Which is what I'm doing right now is studying different styles and which is why I'm doing cartoony and I've been trying to do some if you follow my Instagram page I've been trying to do some uh, photorealistic stuff which is not going well at all but I know it's a weakness of mine and it's an area I should improve on so I'm having a go at it Another reason you should uh, get into drawing, you never know what kind of friend you're going to make. You see, uh, I've got a friend who's a tattoo artist, and he's an amazing artist in general. You know, he's at a level where I'd want to be at. And he saw my YouTube channel and he decided to start drawing again, and now he's selling work and getting commissioned work. And that's really, really cool. And me and him hang out quite a lot now and we sit down and draw. And I think it's a talent he didn't know that I had. Or if he did, he didn't know that I, I enjoyed it as much as I did. And we, uh, we have our doodle days. I go over to his house and We'll put some music on and we'll come up with these ideas and we try these different uh, ideas out and I'm going to convince him to come and do a collab with me at one point even though he'll be like nah 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 I can't be bothered with that nah I don't want to do that nah it's just not me that all that YouTube stuff but we'll see we'll see if we can get him on here for us My friend Willie Bobs. I'll put a link to his Instagram in the uh, description below. You can go check out some of his work. He does anime as well. Don't just do realism. He uh, he does anime. He's, uh, oh, he's just recently got into anime because of uh, his good friend Deggy Doodles, and he's phenomenal at doing that as well. So it's uh, really fun. All right. <coughs> Tip number two, allow your stuff to dry. So this inking stuff we're doing now, allow it to dry, let it dry out, okay? 
you know, don't just go straight in with colour because then it's going to bleed. Even though these micron pens say they're waterproof, non-bleed, can handle inks and all kinds of stuff, it will still bleed. to a footprint, footprint, whoops went over the line a little bit there, oh well, see,
Okay, welcome back. I'm not sure if the last part of my video recorded sound or not, but it doesn't matter. Basically, what I was saying is keep when you're outlining, you know, be committed, like go straight in uh, with no fear, go straight in with no fear, comrade, and uh, just go for it, do it. <clears throat> and uh, to make it look cartoony, just give it a thicker, a thicker silhouette. Is what I said. So. I've left this a little while now, so hopefully it won't bleed into itself. quite dark anyway so I don't know if you'll notice like this is just printer paper uh, again you don't need the most expensive tools to do the job and even though these are alcohol ink markers They're not the expensive brand. They're just the uh, the cheaper brand, but they do the job very much the same. And it got me through that ink over, so I will buy them again, definitely. So yeah, just uh, when you go into your outlining, just go for it. Like I said, you've got tools and tricks up your sleeves to help you with mistakes. You can you can just go get a light box or any form of light and uh, just just go over it again. You know, and if you haven't got a light box, just try and redraw it. That's a practice in itself. You know, redrawing is a practice you can do yourself. If you haven't already, you should uh, go check out my Instagram. My Instagram is uh, Deggy Doodles, like it is on here. And uh, the drawings that I don't put on YouTube, the ones that I just do when I'm sat in the front room watching TV with wife, uh, on there. I try and draw every day. I don't always get it done. Um, 
when I do draw nine out of ten days, you know, I do I do get quite a little bit done. Now I'm going to show you a neat trick for this. Now, because what I've just done by talking, I've just taken mine off my task, and I wanted to put a highlight in here. So what you can do with this now is you get one of these uh, gel pens. You know, they're, they're they're really cheap. They're about I don't know, like what a couple of a couple of quid. And you just put a highlight. Look at that. How cool is that? Just just a nice highlight right there. Oh, okay, went a bit bigger. And that, this one's a thick gel pen. And I've got a smaller one here for adding highlights into, like, say, the pupil up here. So I wanted one in there as well, like that. Now, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. What well, I'm just trying to show you. It's like a local one just right there, like that. You know what I mean? Just can brighten it up. You know, or like say, because of the highlights in the eyes now, I know the light's coming from here. So what I can do now with my thick gel pen is I can I can highlight all this up here like this. Make it look like a deliberate you know, deliberate highlight. You know, like like this. How awesome is that? And on this ear, 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 on the ear there. You know, just like, or even big strokes. If you want, it, like, if you want a big thick highlight, you know, and like all the way over. How cool is that, eh? These are the most satisfying parts of a uh, of like artwork. You know, on the eye up here, like this part of the eye here, it would all be highlighted, all that bit there, like that. And then what's cool about this is when that dries, when when that ink dries, this gel stuff dries, I can go over that with a Prismacolor or something, or I can even just another bit of colour. Uh, yeah, I can go over it with a little bit of colour and, uh, you know, getting, getting it looking really, really sharp and like very very cool so yeah <laughs> just very satisfying I don't, I don't know if you guys find that satisfying but you know I, I find it insanely satisfying and I think it's really really cool so let's go over this again down here can also do the same with uh, with gouache but gouache is really expensive you know I do have some gouache some white gouache but I wouldn't use it on a drawing like this I have used it on a drawing like this before not recommended my friend so let's just get all this bit in there. Not really too funny about one to be fair, because this is all gonna be a shadow anyway, so let's get all this in. again to get the dark in it so watch this right so I put the highlight in here didn't I right that, that's where I put the highlight do you remember so 
so that's where I wanted to highlight like that yeah but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go completely over this whoops whoopsie daisy I forgot the I forgot the highlight no I didn't no it looks a little bit more natural as well looks a little bit more natural looks like actual light on there right let's see what I can do for his belly I know I was, I was really running out of this last time I used it yeah dead dead in water no way I'm going to be using that. Right, one minute. Let me just go and get my prism colours, and I'll be right back. All righty. Got my coloured pencil. I'm just going to go over this. A little bit. planning on going over this too many times so I'm just gonna push down on it you know what I'm a silly boy I could have used some of these these are going to look a little bit orangey now, but let's use number nine. So number nine is this. I'm sure I'll put them back in there, right? Illustrations XBR9 here, okay. It's going to look a little bit orangey till it dries. Sat right in front of me, then they were sat right there, and just I didn't even see them. Stupid guy, silly boy. You can probably hear the family lamb downstairs playing snakes and ladders. I'm gonna go join in in that in a minute. <laughs> So, to stick with the consistency, and go over this very quickly. A little trick I learnt during Inktober this. Like put put your coloured pencil down of the similar colour. And then put your bled a bit there, see it? And then put your flesh tone alcohol marker over the top. And what happens is your alcohol marker will dilute. We'll dilute it on top and it will melt in it will literally melt into it almost like using like paint stripper and stuff so okay probably want to use this for the shading maybe maybe something a bit darker so 
I want it to be shaded up here a little bit. So the problem is now that the paper I'm using can't absorb the abuse I'm laying upon it currently. It's struggling with the amount of uh, the amount of water that's going on it because even though it's printer paper it can only handle so much so you're better off uh, using a heavier piece of paper something that's got a really 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 high GSM eventually if I do any more to this what's going to happen is it's going to start ripping and tearing up and all kinds of bad things let's see I want this to be dark you can kind of see it there already right down in that bottom corner it's already starting to tear the paper Doesn't matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through with it anyway, because like I said, like I said before, um, you can always light box this if you like it. It's just a practice, and also. You know, also, we don't have to take it so serious. You know, it's. Meant to be fun. This whole process. It's meant to be fun. I'll tell you why I draw. I'll tell you what got me wanting to draw. I find it really, really silly. But I've always wanted to mix characters together that's, that's the main attraction for me about drawing is being able to put DC characters with Marvel characters being able to put different anime people with other anime people That's the whole appeal to me. That's 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 the reason why I wanted to learn how to draw. So draw a bit of everything. Don't just stay stuck into just anime. Draw a cartoon. You know, draw Fred Flintstone. Draw Bugs Bunny. Draw Samurai Jack. Sonic the Hedgehog. Draw all kinds of different anime. And then when you're done with the anime, start trying to progress into uh, realism. Which is what I'm trying to do now. Is a uh, my tattoo artist is trying to teach me to draw realism. And whether I'm good at it or not, eventually I'm going to be posting it on here. So you might want to keep your eye out for that. 
Okay, so this needs to be darker underneath here. So we're going to go with another layer. So maybe in the middle. Is that working? Is that going darker? over here I want this to go darker as well so we'll uh, just absorb that in there see this white highlight over here now it's got a little bit of stain of red in it where the red's bled I can just grab this pen over it goes as well. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's gonna find out he's been naughty or nice. Sonic is coming to town. He's been picked up by Fox. It's a comical, comical knock. He kind of looks like Nicholas Cage. Right, so let me try and lift this up and show you. What do you think? If you've liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. And uh, oh, I get told off for this. <laughs> Every time I do this, I get told off for not doing this. Got to give it the signature at the bottom. I, I forget so many times. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And I'll uh, be back with another video real soon. Thank you very much, guys.